next is nutrition in bacteria before we go into the detail for a nutrition process in bacteria uh, we must know uh, the metabolism and role of enzymes the metabolism pertains to all chemical reactions and physical workings of the cell uh, metabolism could be divided into two components anabolism and catabolism anabolism is actually a building and bond making process that forms larger molecules uh, from the smaller ones and anabolism requires energy uh, for making these uh, larger molecules uh, similarly the catabolism uh, that is uh, the a, a process that breaks the bonds uh, from of the larger molecules into the smaller molecules and uh, in catabolism energy is released in the form of atp so what is uh, enzyme substrate interaction uh, that is a temporary uh, uh, enzyme substrate union uh, that must occur at the active site of the enzyme the active site of the enzyme is very important because uh, that is very specific to a particular substrate and that often leads into key interlock interaction between the between the uh, enzyme and the substrate bond formed between the substrate and enzyme are weak and easily reversible uh, once the enzyme substrate complex has formed an appropriate reaction occurs uh, on the substrate often with the aid of a code cofactor uh, that leads to the formation of a particular product and after the uh, formation of product enzyme is uh, released from the complex and is free to interact with the other substrate this is simplified model of uh, the metabolism uh, here uh, uh, the glucose uh, is uh, turned into the precursor molecules through the process of uh, catabolism and uh, through the process of uh, glycolysis krebs cycle in the uh, respiration uh, process and uh, the simpler molecules like pyruvate and acetyl coa are formed uh, through the process of uh, catabolism and this uh, yields a lot of energy uh, yes, this yields a lot of energy which is used in the anabolism process uh, in the anabolism process uh, this pyruvate and acetyl coa are used uh, for the uh, building blocks uh, of uh, proteins and uh, nucleic acids like uh, amino acids sugars nucleotides and fatty acids are formed uh, and these uh, uh, these uh, results in the formation of uh, macromolecules like proteins peptidoglycans rna dna and complex lipids and these uh, molecules are assembled to form the bacterial cells nutrition uh, based grouping and bacteria uh, the bacteria could be divided into autotroph uh, autotrophic bacteria or heterotrophic bacteria the autotrophic bacteria can make their own food uh, by uh, different processes like uh, uh, photoautotrophic and chemoautotrophic photoautotrophic bacteria are actually photosynthetic bacteria uh, the cyanobacteria uh, these use light as energy source and carbon dioxide uh, to make uh, uh, glucose uh, the chemoautotrophic bacteria Uh, use chemicals as energy source and carbon dioxide uh, carbon dioxide as carbon source uh, for making uh, the food heterotrophic bacteria require organic matter to prepare their food uh, for growth and survival uh, these are further divided into two groups photo heterotrophs uh, which use light as energy source and an organic compound as carbon source uh, the examples of uh, these bacteria are purple and green bacteria the chemo heterotrophs uh, use chemicals as energy source and an uh, organic compound as carbon source uh, the example all plant pathogenic bacteria are the chemo heterotrophs 